hundred crores in two thousand fourteen. Now it has come to sixty nine thousand crore rupees in the last year of twenty twenty two. So there was a huge increase in the allocation of funds from central to the state of Karnataka. In PM, PM Suraksha Bima Yojana, there was one point one crore subscribers and one hundred and forty four. crores claims have been dispersed pm mudra yojana there are 3.49 crore beneficiaries in the state of karnataka and out of which 2.39 crore are women so this is a significant step towards empowering the poor and impoverished section of the society even the gst compensation of 70000 crore rupees more than 1000 crore rupees have been released by the center but the more significant thing is when we are sitting here in bangalore it is often called the intellectual capital of india and an an emerging new city of the new india of 21st century so definitely karnataka needs the type of infrastructure which is required for new emergency of the 21st century and you know that final two bangalore airport has been inaugurated previously four airports in karnataka now there are four more Shimoga, Kalburgi, Bidar, and Mysore was having a, for the name's sake. Now it is fully national, well connected with the international flights also. So four more airports have come in the duration of last seventy uh, eight years of central and three and a half years of Gorappaji and Bomaji's government. And a massive project has been taken for the railway electrification. the allocation of funds for the railway which was in 2014 was just to the tune of 835 crore now it is 6091 so more than 600% increase for the railway and look for infrastructure done you all well aware about that the bangalore mass express highway has been inaugurated now it will reduce the time significantly from 3 hours to 75 minutes and prime minister has inaugurated the helicopter factory of hal in tumkur first karnataka has an it in and not only this as far as the agriculture fisheries and other activities of the areas are concerned the gross domestic product has increased from 1.5 lakh crore to 2.6 additional funds have been allocated for the schemes related to sc st and obc to the tune of 4800 crore the education has also increased the education uh, allotment for the education from 5241 crores to 11607 in the jal jeevan mission that is to ensure the functional tap water in every home 61.56 lakh houses out of the total 1.01 crore household in karnataka has been provided the tap water and not only this 20 lakh people has got benefit of the ayushman bharat yojana means those who are living in comparatively not well off financial condition has got a got a proper for their health care and then i would like to remind that there are two major achievements which karnataka has which are having the international attention for the first time india is manufacturing 25% of the iphones this year the iphone 14s the manufacturing 25% are manufactured in india and that is factory of apple which is in karnataka and most country they are shifted from china but i would also like to remind there was some disturbances and agitation in that factory only in that factory which has shifted from china that all is a question and a food for thought for you also and just last month you have seen the defense expo in this defense expo first time india has emerged as an exporter of the defense equipment you are knowing that the first time putting a brahmos which is a intermediate range ballistic missile and philippines has become the country who has booked the first order and second thing was there was defense minister of 34 countries present here in bangalore 
this is for the first time outside Europe. You cannot quote a single instance in the entire world in which 34 countries' defense ministers were there. So this shows that the level which India is achieving in terms of growth, development, and the status which Karnataka and Bangalore is achieving as far as the developmental aspect is concerned. But on the contrary, there are certain people who are trying to give a false promise. They never fulfilled their promise. I would like to remind the Congress party has come and they are trying to give so many promises. I would like to ask them. They are saying that they will give and to unemployed youth a certain monthly compensation. They have promised in Rajasthan they will give 5,000 rupees per month to unemployed. Had they got it, it's almost five years of their government. They have not got it. Rather than they are facing the police atrocities. I would like to remind them in Chhattisgarh in 2018 election, what was the, you can say, the dialogue of Rahul Gandhi ji. In Hindi has said, it do teen char paanche das, das din mein sara loan maaf. Within 10 days, I will write off all the loans of farmer. Otherwise, I will change the chief minister. The fact of the matter is, five years have finished. The loans are not write off. The <coughs> chief minister has not changed. But Sri Rahul Gandhi ji, who was Congress president at the time, are now he has changed. He is not the Congress president. In Himachal, the recent victory which we have got, with a very slender margin of just 37,000 votes. In the entire state, the difference in vote of BJP and Congress was 37,000. Okay, still they formed the government. And what they have said, that there are so much hike in the fuel prices. And these fuel prices should be brought back. And within three weeks of coming in power in Himachal, increase three rupees per liter in the cost of diesel. That is a state tax they have increased. So it is clear that whatever they do, they do not perform. Whatever we say, we totally perform. And as far as the other schemes are concerned, I would like to ask, they are talking about the other pension schemes and others. For five years, they were in power. And most of the time in the central and state both. Have they ever implemented? So they are trying to hoodwink the people, but the people are having a clear faith in the leadership of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, who delivers what he says. I would like to remind in 2019 election, we have said we will give 6,000 rupees per year to the farmers as Kisan Samman Nidhi. And what Rahul ji has said, 6,000 rupees per month is 72,000 rupees a year. Is it possible for any government to provide 72,000 rupees per year to every citizen. So people didn't put their faith in that. And also I would like to remind in the last election, if you remember, the Congress was having the government. And during the course of election, Sri Rahul Gandhi ji has said that if somebody thinks then I am ready to accept for prime ministership. First time, the only instance in which on the issue of prime ministership, he has said the fact what happened, they were having chief minister here. Forget about the prime minister. They have to reconcile to the deputy chief minister. So whatever they got, the people of Karnataka has given them a befitting reply. So I want to urge to the people of Karnataka that they should give a decisive and massive mandate in favor of BJP as our governments previously run by Yadurappa ji and now by Bomaiji are doing excellent work and above all government which is doing to the best of their capability to ensure the development and pride both of Karnataka. I would like to say one thing. You remember prior to our government come there uses to be the Padma Awards for whom those who were the you can say uh, five-star environmental activists sitting in the AC rooms of Delhi. But if you remember two years back, Tulsi Gora from here, she was a lady who walked in the Darbar Hall barefoot, Darbar Hall of Rashtrapati Bhavan, 
and she got because she has done 30,000 plantations and doing since last six decades. So these type of recognition from grassroots level to the development of IITs and airports has been done with the fullest of their capacity and devotion by Sri Narendra Modi, that BJP government. So I would like to say finally, as far as the Congress is concerned, whatever they say, they never do it. They Hindi mein kehte hain, katni aur karni mein antar rehta hai. And in Kannada, they say, nodi dante, nadi reda, sarkar. And we, whatever we say, we perform. Rather than it is an allegation on us. We, we are pursuing our agenda. Rather, there is a crisis of credibility in the politics, where it is a question mark on the political leaders that they say, but they do not do. And on us, there is an allegation that we are implementing our agenda. So we can say that our government is who say it, they So we are Nuri Dante, Nuri Yuva Sarkar. Nuri Yuva Sarkar. Whatever we say, so I can say the people are having faith in BJP and the Karnataka people are having, uh, witnessing a hope only in BJP. Sir, don't you think that the present Karnataka government is facing with the corruption charges from 40% corruption case till the Madal Vurupa super case? The uh, is the corruption is here. Uh, those who are trying to raise this question, represent a party which was having 85% commission. That was nothing but the submission of Sri Rajiv Gandhi, late Prime Minister, who has said when I give one rupee from Delhi, it's only 15 paisa which will go. And as far as these allegations are concerned, you know, legally, taking bribe is a crime and giving bribe is also a crime. So whosoever has said, and asking for bribe is also a crime, and committing for bribe is also a crime. So those who have said they should come out with a proper complaint, with a proper proof, otherwise it is nothing but hiding of the corruption. And I would also like to ask, who are those parties? Why Congress party is too much concerned about what is the relation with the contractors who are more interested in commissions? So why they are always interested in supporting and hiding the corruptions? I would like to remind the previous government of Congress party has tried to run away with the Loka Yukta, curtail the powers of Loka Yukta, curtail the powers of ACB. On the contrary, we are fair enough and we are having full transparency in whatever is there and we are ready to take action on whosoever is there. Then what action has been taken against?